Nick Carter has been accused of doing something shocking to a girl who was only 15 years old. Well, new tonight, another woman is accusing Backstreet Boys singer Nick Carter of sexually assaulting her when she was just 15 years old. Inside sources also allege that Nick has a shocking history of this behavior. You won't believe the real truth about Nick's dark past. Nick is currently facing three separate lawsuits from women accusing him of physical harm. Each of one of these alleged victims was still a teenager when Nick allegedly harmed them. An alleged victim known by the initials AR is the most recent woman to come forward with her side of the story. Although AR's incident goes back two decades, AR was just 15 years old in 2003. At the time, Nick was 23 years old. AR alleges in court documents that Nick physically harmed her in three separate incidents. Shockingly, she is also accusing Nick of transmitting a disease called HPV to her. AR is seeking damages from Nick for these alleged incidents. She wants $15,000. AR's lawyer is Margaret Mabby and Margaret told the media why AR is suing Nick after so many years. According to her, they have the hope that she will receive some measure of justice from the court. Margaret also said that AR wants her lawsuit to pave the way for other survivors to hold the people accused of harming them accountable. AR's lawsuit is trying to set the record straight on what Nick allegedly did to her. She's accusing him of physically harming her on a yacht in Marathon, Florida. The second incident happened in September 2011. AR alleges that Nick physically harmed her on a tour bus parked in the backyard of his family's home. And in October 2003, Nick allegedly physically harmed her again on the yacht for the third time. Shockingly, AR alleges that Nick asked three other men if they wanted to watch the third incident on the yacht. If that's the truth, it's so cruel and unbelievable. But Nick is denying all of the allegations against him. His lawyer is Dale A. Hayes Jr. and Dale threw shade at Nick's accusers in a statement to the Los Angeles Times. Dale called the allegations against Nick ridiculous, and he also stated that AR has previously accused Nick of the same incidents in a Florida court, and she apparently accused Nick of the same incidents in a Pennsylvania court too. Dale said that AR is repeating false allegations in new legal complaints, but he said that doesn't make them true. And Dale's side of the story is that Nick wants the evidence to be presented, and the truth about AR's malicious schemes to come to light. Shockingly, one judge declined to file charges against Nick based on AR's allegation. LA County DA's office has declined to file charges against Backstreet Boy Nick Carter. That doesn't mean that AR's lawsuit was proven to be ridiculous or malicious as Dale alleged. The judge decided not to file charges because the allegations against Nick happened so long ago and the statute of limitations on his alleged crime ended five years ago. So basically the judge felt that AR took too long to seek justice but another one of AR's lawyers called out Nick and his alleged team. The lawyer's name is John Kawhi. John said people who harm others can take notice that just because they avoided prison doesn't mean they don't have to answer to a jury for their actions. And there is one shocking twist to this story because AR's mother alleged that she reported the incident between her daughter and Nick to authorities in Southern Pennsylvania. AR's mother said that this happened in December following the alleged incidents in August, September, and October 2003. If 2003 seems like a long time ago, Nick's first accuser is alleging that Nick physically harmed her two years before the alleged incidents with AR. Shannon Shay Ruth is suing Nick for an incident dating back to February 2001. Shay alleges she met Nick backstage in Tacoma, Washington, and the incident happened after a Backstreet Boys concert. Shockingly, Shay is also accusing Nick of transmitting the HPV disease to her. At the time of the alleged incident, Shay was 17 years old, while Nick was 21. After filing a lawsuit against Nick on December 8th, 2022, Shay's lawyer, Mark Boscovich, held a press conference. Mark wanted to tell Shay's side of the story, but first he told reporters what allegedly happened. Mark said that Shay was standing in line after the concert. All she wanted to do was get Nick's autograph, but Nick allegedly wanted something in return. Mark alleged that Nick asked Shay to join him on the Backstreet Boys tour bus. It was then that Shay's allegations took a shocking twist. She alleged that Nick gave her a funny tasting beverage. Shockingly, Nick supposedly called the beverage VIP juice. Then, Mark stood aside. Shay stepped up to the microphone in tears and she gave her shocking side of the story, including some cruel details about what Nick allegedly said and did to her. Hello, my name is Shay and I'm 39 years old. And the last 21 years have been filled with pain, confusion, frustration. <laughs> 
shame and self-harm that are a direct result of Nick Carter raping. Nick's third accuser is Melissa Schumann. Like Nick, Melissa was also a singer and entertainer. She was formerly with a girl group called Dream. In April 2023, Melissa filed her lawsuit against Nick. She's alleging that Nick physically harmed her in 2002. This incident supposedly happened in Santa Monica, California when Melissa was 18 years old and Nick was 22. Melissa alleges that Nick gave her a substance before he harmed her. Shockingly, she claims that she was working with Nick on a movie when this incident happened. Melissa claims that she first accused Nick of harming her physically in 2017, but apparently the police told her that the statute of limitations on what Nick allegedly did to her expired in 2013, and for that reason, they couldn't file charges against Nick. There is a shocking connection between Melissa and Shay's allegations against Nick too. In February 2023, Nick threw shade at Shay and Melissa, but he did that in a court of law. Nick filed a counter lawsuit against Shay. He's accusing her of being an opportunist. And shockingly, Nick is also alleging that Shay and Melissa are conspiring against him. Nick alleges that Melissa, her parents, and Shay are trying to harass, defame, and extort him. And Nick claims that he has proof of how Melissa and Shay's lawsuits have made him suffer financially. Nick says that he and the Backstreet Boys have lost two million plus dollars in concert earnings and promotional deals because of the lawsuit. Two other people have spoken out about Nick's alleged behavior. These people are both famous and unfortunately, Unfortunately, one of them is no longer alive. Shockingly, Nick's late brother Aaron talked about Nick a few years before he passed away. Aaron gave his side of the story three years ago and what he said is unbelievable. And a lot of the times what they'll do is they'll lie about their ages. Aaron said that female fans would lie about their ages. Shockingly, Aaron also discussed Melissa and he said that if Melissa had filed a lawsuit against him, he would have countersued with a defamation lawsuit and he would have won. But he also said that he always had the factual information and told the truth. Aaron had a troubled relationship with Nick. Oh. You came at me, you don't see what he did Shut to me? Shut the up, I didn't come at you. Excuse me? I walk away from you. Every time you fight with me, I run away from you. And Aaron was one of the inside sources who once made shocking claims about Nick and Paris Hilton. The allegations are that Nick mistreated Paris when they dated decades ago. The New York Post even published a shocking report of what Paris allegedly accused Nick of doing to her. In July 2004, the Post gossip page alleged that Paris had revealed shocking details to friends. Although this report was never confirmed, allegedly Paris and Nick were at a Monday night party at the Argyle Hotel in LA. While partygoers claimed to have seen Paris and Nick dirty dancing at this party, Paris allegedly talked to her friends later and claimed that Nick had bruised her face and arms. Shockingly, pictures of Paris's alleged injuries also surfaced. It's alleged that these pictures showed Paris with bruising and a noticeable swollen lip. Although Nick's lawyers at the time threw shade at Paris and said her accusations were false, Marty Singer was Nick's lawyer back then and Marty claimed that Paris had fake bruises and swollen lips because she was doing a bizarre photo shoot. Paris and Nick only dated for seven months and Nick threw major shade at Paris nine years later. He called her the worst person for him to hook up with, but he never sued her like he's doing with the women who filed lawsuits against him in the last year. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Do you believe that Nick is innocent or are there too many similarities between the women who are accusing him of physical harm? What about the shocking comments that Aaron made about Nick before he passed away? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.